Hey, Shalom Israel. Hey, first and foremost, I'm going to turn to the east and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real, man. And salutation to the hopeful elect, the 144 out there who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, and the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever he goeth. Okay, hey brothers, so look, this, this one right here, um, I just want to actually just, um, this is going to be a repost, and I just want to give an intro to the video you see back here, which is, uh, it's by GMS Eat the Roll, okay, and it's, and it's called uh, Stay Clocked In, and man, I just want to thank you brother, when I heard it this morning, I was, uh, I was definitely inspired, you know. I was definitely inspired and I said, uh, right away I said, man, I got to repost that. I got to repost that. Because it's a, it's a very, it's a very good, it's a good, man, it's good. Okay? It inspires me. and inspired me to make me want to go harder for you. How about Shimmy How about Shy, man? Alright, because it's true, man. We work all the time. We work for the man constantly. You know, just spinning our tires, really. You know, just trying to put food on the table and pay the bills and, and, uh, we're going to give up on the American dream, but hey, that, that, all that was, uh, it's amazing that we all had that in our head at one point or another, at one time or another, trying to make it, trying to survive, not just to be, you know, it's weird how they program everybody, right, everybody, program, so that definitely means that they, you could definitely come, coming from there to where we are now, all praise to you, how about Shimmy how shy for opening up our eyes, to, telling us to shake the dust off of us, man, um, you know, and, and put, put skin 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 on us these dry bones and everything blow the breath of life in us um, so I just want to thank you how about Jimmy how shy for that because uh, we see that we we're under the curses we see the deception that this devil's put on on the people uh, he, we see how he still got most of our women all locked up in the head you know due to the curses and, and all the shit that he's pushing out here for them uh, you know you know how it is brother so Look, I don't want to. I don't want to jaw jack all night long. So I want to just give a quick intro to this video. Uh, GMS, eat the whole roll. Well, eat the roll. By the way, have you eaten the roll? Hopefully, you're eating the roll. Okay, and uh, stay clocked in. That's the name of the video. So we're gonna just let it play. All right, Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching me this truth, giving me this blueprint and ruling and will. Enough respect to the fellow Akim that's pushing his truth and sincerity and risking their lives to do so across the globe. To the Akim and the Akwap that's listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Yawasap from the Birmingham branch coming to you again with this 100% doctrine through the spirit and powers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shah being the only begotten Son. So yeah, <clears throat> what I got on the screen is a, uh, you know, a time sheets and a, and a clock, okay, which, uh, you know, most of you are probably familiar with this when you, you know, uh, come into work, you know, right, you get hired or whatever, they give you this time sheet that your name is on, and for the week or for the month, have a, uh, you know, pertaining to the employer, all right, you have to when you clock when you come in you have to clock in you have to put your card in the top of the um, machine or in the, in the side of the machine wherever the slit at and you punch it all right and that gives you your time and that's how they keep up with your time now this is uh similar to to how you how about shim yahweh shah is not going to forget our labor all right of love that we do show forth week in and week out no matter when you punch the clock all right, no matter when you came in, all right, who opened that door for you, all right, he, he is Yahweh Shah. He has opened that door that no man can shut. Now, if that door just so happened to be shut, he is the only one that shut it, okay, such as as you falling out of this ministry, all right, such as you, uh, you know, you getting, you know, rebuked or you uh, get kicked out over camp, all right, but you have to, in, within yourself, continue in the works, all right. Because it tells you he will not forget, you know, your labor of love, of course. All right. So this is what we all took up on. We all took up on that, that cross, man. 
all right? And we was, what, willingly to drink of this cup, all right? And no matter how many um, things we go through, all right, we have to take it in stride, all right? We have to smile at this because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah has just winked, all right, at, at, at our follies, okay? So we're putting, we're putting on this, on this, punching this clock, all right? And we have to continue in this work. We don't clock out. Okay, I'm going to say that again. We don't clock out, all right? We have to continue. We don't take vacations. Our vacations is with, within the kingdom, man. Our rest we're going to get in the kingdom, okay? And I'm talking about spiritually. I'm not talking about uh, carnally, man, all right? Fleshly, I'm talking about spiritually. When we clock in, when he called you to this ministry, when he ordained you, all right, chosen you to be, all right, <clears throat> a, a preacher, teacher, all right, apostle, elder, prophet, whatever he, he, he chose you to do, okay, he chose you to do that to his, his liking, you see. So we're going to get into some scriptures and we pray that it's edifying and comforting, all right. Like I said, we don't clock out. So I'm going to start in the book of Revelation, chapter 3, and verse 8. It reads, and these are Yahweh words, and read, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. And how do we do that, man? All right, we're taking on the names of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, Yahweh. Heavenly Father, you have a shot, only begotten Son, and we have kept His Word, which is the Word of this book, it within its entirety. Okay, we're not gonna waver. We're not gonna, you know, uh, stray from <clears throat> basically the flock, man. Okay, we have to continue in these prophecies, man. You see, and this is a prophecy that's gonna come to pass too, because if you work and you continue to work, all right, He's gonna have a reward for you. All right, so with that, we're going to go to First Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 2. It reads, We give thanks to the Most High always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers, remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, in the sight of of our power and our Father, knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of the Most High. Yeah, so remember without ceasing. Like I said, we do not clock out, man, all right? For the patience that we have, for the faith that we have, and for the labor of love that we do continue to uh, labor in, all right, within what? Feeding the sheep, all right? Because what our will is is to be is is or to do is to do the work, all right, of him that sent Yahweh Shah, right? So we have to take on and put on as the elect, all right? And you have to know that within your heart, within your belly, within your mind, all right, to continue in these works, man. You see? This is St. John, verse 6, verse 27. Yahweh Shah words, verse 27. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life. You see? And that's that ultimate reward, man. You know? When you clock in, man, you don't clock out. You know, you get uh, uh, certain breaks here and there, okay? But the work that we're doing in this flesh is not the work, all right? <laughs> all right, of Yahweh Shah. The work of Yahweh Shah is pushing his truth, man. You know, feeding his sheep, okay? Clocking in, never clocking out. Continue to feed the flock, man. It says, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him hath the most high the Father sealed. So that's that door again, all right, that he opened that no man can shut. You see, it is already written in the book of life whose names, all right, the 144,000 elect, all right, and the one-third, all right, for that matter as well. You see, they are already sealed with the Heavenly Father, all right. However, when he comes, are you going to have your time uh, time sheet punched in? Are you going to have that, you know, time? Are you going to have multiple, multiple videos laid up? You know, because we are what? We're stores, storing our treasures in heaven, okay? So we have to continue in these works, man. 
not no one video a week, two videos a week, or, you know, just feel, uh, I feel like, you know, not doing a video, I feel like taking a vacation, no, man, all right, like I said, our vacations are going to be in the kingdom, all right, and that's something beyond our imaginations, all right, this is verse 28, then said they unto him, what shall we do that we might work the works of the Most High, you see, so they want to know, okay, what shall we do? Well, guess what? Verse 29. And how shall answered and said unto them, This is the work of the Most High, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. You see? So if you to have that faith and you believe what he told uh, uh, Peter, man, you know, Peter was grieved, right? But he said, Feed my sheep, feed my lambs. Okay? And that says the work, man, that we believe on him. So if you believe on him, all right, you shouldn't have no problem with punching in and doing the work and continue to stay clocked in, okay? You got brothers out here pushing videos out daily, man, all right? Then you have brothers that's that's not pushing out daily, man, all right? So the brothers that's pushing out daily, they're taking on uh, of that load, all right, that you should, you should be uh, uh, putting up, okay? You got to understand, yeah, we all searching for that penny, but it's going to be rewards, Pertaining to the works. He's going to give every man, all right, according to his works, man. So you put up one or two videos in three months. Guess what? You're going to get that one or two videos in the kingdom. <laughs> you know? If brothers been putting up daily, guess what? They're going to get daily recognition, man. All right? Because we all looking for that fame, you know? All right? But first and foremost, that fame is going to come with that salvation. You see? Because all eyes shall behold. This is uh, St. John 4, all right, verse 34. It reads, these are, uh, these are Yahweh Shai words, all right? Yahweh Shai saith unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. So that's, that's what we got in our hands. We have these works. We know the truth. We understand the truth. We understand the parables, okay? And guess what? All we have to do is go work. You know, something simple as going out on the highways and hedges, all right, once a week. Something simple as sitting down, all right, taking a few hours out your day, all right, to read, all right, to do a lesson, okay? That's daily work, man, all right? That's our daily bread, man, all right? We should not live by meat alone, man, all right? So we don't seek the meat, all right, that perishes, all right? And guess what? We're feeding our own mouths. Along with feeding the sheep. And how do we do that? By staying clocked in. By staying punched in, man. Okay? So from there, we're going to go to 1 Corinthians. All right? Chapter 9, and verse 17. It reads, For if I do this thing willingly, you see that word willingly, and that throws most people off. You know, well, why I got to, why I got to, if you question yourself, why you got to throw up videos, if you're tired to do videos, man, all right, this ain't cut out for you. It's cut out for hardcore workers, man, okay? Spiritually, it says, for if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. Think about that. I have a reward, but if against my will, that you go to the naysayers and Oh, if I got it, why I got it, do I, 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 you know, all this grunting and moaning. Guess what? Yahweh was going, it's going to, he's going to, he's going to remember that. He's going to understand that you ain't doing this willingly, man. All right. But if against my will and disposition, uh, dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. That's right, man. That's right. Everything we have, all right. Yahweh Shah is put on us on a, on a certain level, man. All right? Some 60 and some 40 and some 20, you know? Roughly paraphrasing. We have these talents. Well, all you have to do is, what? Flip those talents. Share those talents with others, man. All right? We still have work to do. This thing is not over. All right? Just because you hear boomers of wars, commotions of men, the chip is on its way. All right? Martial law, Jacob's trouble. It's, it's down the pipeline. All right, it's coming. But this is this work is not over, man. All right? It's simply it's not over. Let's go to 1 Peter. This is 1 Peter chapter 5, starting at verse 3. I mean, it's Salakia, verse 2. 1 Peter 5 and 2. 
feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you, you see. And by feeding the flock, we are also feeding ourselves, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. So you have to be ready, okay? Hey, when you go to work, you don't go to work half sleep, okay? If you do, you ain't you ain't prepared for work, especially uh, uh, work that's that's cut out, you know, working with your hands, working with your mind, or whatever type of work you have, man. All right, you don't go to have groggy. You see, someone's gonna get on you, man. Your manager, your boss, man, or what have you. Okay, so you gotta go with a ready mind. You gotta go not not uh, uh, starting shit. You know these fast food workers, man. All right, you y'all can remember, you know they go to work pissed off. All right, and then they, 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 they you know, they'll, they'll fuck up your whole order, man, you know? All right. So, again, not for filthy lucre, but of ready mind. Verse 3, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. So, that's our job, our job, well, our job as well, to be examples, man, for the flock, man. All right? No one is no over no one. However, we do have an order in things, starting with the elder apostle to man. Okay? So if you understand order, and but we all men, you see? So you got to take that with a grain of salt. You can't let that get to your head because certain men, it gets to them, man. And they think they uh, uh, figured it out. They think they got it all. Hey, that's when you have a shot step into play, man, and take some of, that, some of them talents away, man. You see? So let's go to uh, 2 Timothy again. Um, chapter 4 and verse 5 it says but watch thou in all things endure afflictions do the work of an evangelist make full proof of thy ministry and that's what we're doing man okay if we're continuing in the works we have to make full proof of thy ministry man alright and that's that doing the work of an evangelist you see you got to stay clocked in you got to stay Pushing this truth, man. You got to stay, uh, 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 you know, on the grind, so to speak. All right? And if you stay on the grind, stay pushing this truth, you know, you'll have that reward, man. All right? It's not by nothing you, you know, came about on your own thing. All right? See, again, Yahweh Bashem Shah has opened that door for us, man. Okay? So with that, let's go to Ecclesiasticus, chapter 51 and 30. It says, work your work. Be times, and in his time, he will give you your reward. That's right, man. That's right. So he has a reward for you, but you have to work your work be times. You have to continue in this ministry, man. You see? And if you don't continue in this ministry, you don't stay clocked in, guess what? Hey, that reward will be taken away from you, man. All right? So let's end it off with the uh, book of Hebrews. All right, chapter 6. And 10, you know, it reads, For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. <whistles> How beautiful is that? Which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And that word do is what? To continue and do minister, man. So by doing what we do, we're continuing in the works, and Lord will all right, here, keep that spirit on us to uh, basically continue in his works, uh, you know, through his name, all right, that give us that strength, give us that spirit, give us that discernment, all right, to break down these scriptures and learn, continue to learn, all right. We'll end up having that reward, man, if we stay clocked in, all right. So with that, hey, I pray this video was edifying and comforting. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Makar Kadash. Till the next time I say Shalom. On to the next one.